That's definitely sweet. Fuel should not taste like that. Okay, today we have to get my 88 Jeep Comanche back on the road running right. There's something wrong and I cannot figure it out. I spent almost every day last week trying to figure out what was wrong with it. I replaced sensors, checked wires, checked grounds. I went through pretty much everything I could think of, but today we're gonna figure it out and I think we're going to start with the fuel system and then go from there because it's just not running right. So we'll get it pulled into the shop and uh, probably drain some of the fuel out and see what it's uh, what it looks like. Wow. I pulled some of my fuel out to look at it and this is what's in it. Wow, that is not what fuel is supposed to look like at all. The amount of sediment and debris is insane. There's a little more. I just cycled it and that's what's coming out. There's like physical debris in there. That's incredible. So I let the fuel sit for a little bit and kind of settled. That is not what you want to see in uh, in there. And if I'm being completely honest, it looks like sugar. I think somebody put sugar in my gas tank. I don't know, that makes me nervous. Not only am I gonna blow out the lines, I'm also gonna pull my fuel pump out and kind of inspect that because that is a ton of residue. I think someone poured sugar into there. There's a bunch of like crystals on the roof of the gas tank. I'm gonna stick my finger in there and uh, kinda, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna see, there you can see I got it on my finger. That's definitely sweet. Fuel should not taste like that. That explains a ton. If we go over here onto this, you can actually see there's some crystals forming on this housing. Well, that explains everything, all of my headaches and problems. <sighs> that explains a lot. Yep, so I'm dropping the tank. I'm gonna get the tank dropped and get it all cleaned out. And maybe tomorrow, we'll be able to take it for a real drive. Oh, I don't know how well you can see in there. But, I think I got it pretty clean. So, no more sugar crystals. And then, cleaned the fuel pump out. I took it all apart, sprayed it all down, put it all back together. And now, I'm gonna put the fuel pump back in while the tank is out. That way I can just like, put it back up in the Jeep and put some fuel in it and call it good. So I do wanna take apart the fuel filter and see what damage is in there because I mean a lot of that goop that I was that I had in that water bottle earlier came actually directly out of the fuel filter. I'll get the fuel pump and everything put back into the tank and uh, and then I'll get all of my lines sprayed out and we'll crack open that fuel filter and take a look inside.
Okay, so I've got the fuel filter in my vise. I'm just going to pry it apart just because I'm curious. I want to see how much it was stopping. So if one side's clean and the other side is dirty, I know it's just a clogged filter. But if both sides are dirty, I know I, know I probably have other issues. Okay, that's a good sign. Clean. It's clean in there. You can't see it. Let me open it up more. Alright, see? That's a good sign. Dirty. Clean. That's incredible. Get on a sledge that's in there. All right, so I'm pretty happy with what we did find. Still far from being put back together. It's currently 1 a.m., so I will see you in the morning. Good morning. So, I'm back at the shop. I have a new fuel filter and some sea foam because it works, and boom. Crazy that was in there. Oh, crap. I just realized I left the key on all night long. So, hope it's not dead. I'm gonna get the lines blown out really quick with air, and uh, then we'll throw the tank back in, put some fuel in it, and listen to that engine purr. Man, I hope this works. All right, moment of truth. I didn't do this clip right. Okay, everything is hooked up. Uh, battery's dead. That sucks, but here we go. Water pump is definitely bad. We're gonna take this for a drive though. Watch this, here we go. Oh, she rips. Oh man, I am so happy. Oh my gosh. Boy, I feel so good we should celebrate with chocolate milk and chicken and a biscuit. Let's go to the store. And I'm coming along. Hey, I am.
All right, let's go back to the shop. Okay, so I got a little carried away and yeah, I removed the seat and the carpet so that I could get a four wheel drive shift lever in there properly. Um, there's the carpet, all nasty. Uh, I'll probably want to get that cleaned up before it goes back in, but now I need to remove this plate I think drill these holes out right here so that I could get this shift lever right here in there. So I'm also thinking about going to bucket seats, but we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, so yeah, just a long process. Okay, so just as a basic test, what I want to do is I want to put some sugar in uh, to some fuel and we'll see what it does. So I'll just, you know, gotta get some fuel in the jar. Little science experiment so that we can compare results. We are in a ventilated area, by the way, just so you know. I'm actually more concerned about my spoon when I stir this because this is not uh, a good one for this. So there's a couple reasons why these look different, I think. And I think the biggest one is that whoever did this obviously didn't care what was going into my tank anyway. So they like, I don't know, could have thrown rocks and dirt in there. Oh, well, I know there was actually a couple things that shouldn't have been in there. So it could have been different sugars. I also know that this was sitting a lot longer than this one was. At the end of the day, I taste tested it. This one has some nasty, uh, it did not taste good, but it did taste sweet. So that's a, that's a thing, but you can see some granules on the side of the bottle here. Um, and then obviously the, the thing in the bottom. But yeah. A friend of mine mentioned that they like coat the inside of those gas tanks with like zinc or something. So I think uh, a lot of the residue could even be from that. But the fact of the matter is, is sugar did end up in my tank. Someone doesn't like me, I guess. So luckily sugar in the gas tank doesn't actually ruin the engine. All it does, I've seen from this test here, is it plugs up the fuel filter. And as I showed earlier, none of it was getting by the fuel filter. So I'd say we're good. And I'm pretty happy that we finally figured it out. I was not expecting that. It was kind of the last thing on my mind because I just barely went through the fuel system not too long ago. And so I kind of ruled that out early on, but after enough of you guys commenting and everything, I decided to check it out because it wasn't gonna hurt to, ch to look at it. So here we are. Now we know someone out there doesn't like me. <laughs> that being said, we're gonna have to take the Comanche out and test its four wheel drive for real. And thanks for watching. Wait, what about the part where you show them the seats that are fixed? No, let's go show you the seats that are fixed. Let's go right now. All right, so these are what the seats look like at the Comanche. Uh, carpet's all back in, everything's back in. Uh, nice headliner. So that's what it looks like. And uh, obviously it's not entirely put together right, um, but it's enough to get me back on the road. So officially, thanks for watching.